goddess. He did it! Oh, Scala. Scarla, I will bring the head of Leonidas to your grave. Tonight, I promise. <laughs> I'll send you to a place eternally free of pain. They will dog me to the end. I better get out of here soon. What was his name again? Ezekiel? I dispatched that fool a long time ago. Quickly, 
The French loop. I feel my strength returning. It gets here, Leonardo. about Ezekiel's past. Leonardus killed Scala, Ezekiel's teacher and lover, and Ezekiel became a legendary vampire slayer out to have his revenge. As Jake said, you could tell that the Warden was becoming more powerful as you traced his life story. While being bitten by a vampire, Ezekiel was saved by Scala, the monster hunter. Despite now becoming a half-vampire, Scala trained him to become a vampire hunter. Scala would later be killed by Baron Leonardus, a powerful vampire lord. Ezekiel vowed to avenge her. Over the course of decades, Ezekiel became a legendary vampire slayer. He found Leonardus and began a fight to the death. <laughs> but Leonardus was too strong. At death's door, Ezekiel used the last of his strength to draw a magic circle with blood and placed a Guardian's Pledge in its center. With his soul now infused in the Pledge, Ezekiel became a Guardian, protecting others from vampires. Ezekiel lost the battle with Leonardus, vowed an oath to get revenge, and became a guardian. With the power of the Guardian's Pledge, Ezekiel encountered Leonardus again, and finally repaid him for what happened to Scarlet.